Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're taking a look at three easy ways to copy or duplicate your layouts or paper spaces within AutoCAD. This is gonna let you bring in or copy a layout from another drawing, from a template, or from within your own drawing. Uh, all of these are gonna help speed up your workflows and drawing production, uh, and I'm sure you're gonna learn a great new tip. Before we jump in, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar or my AutoCAD workflows and fundamentals courses. You can get either of those in the links down below. Both are available for a discount right now for viewers and subscribers using the links below in the description or up above right now. Let's jump right into today's video. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a new drawing here with just our default layout one set up. In today's video, I'm going to combine a few different options for setting up these layouts since this is a pretty common question that gets asked a lot on the channel. And I think between these three different methods, you're going to save a ton of time when producing drawings. First up is how to bring in or use a layout and title block from your template. It could be from one of my templates that you've downloaded from the website. You can get those down below. I'll put that link at cadintentions.com under the templates tab. To do that, you're going to want to create a new layout from a template. So to do that, you can right click down here on any of the tabs and say, choose from template. From here, you're gonna to go to where your templates are saved by default or you can browse to say wherever you extracted the templates you download off my website or from another site. From there, you're gonna choose a .dwt file, which is a template file, and that's going to give you the option to choose any of the layouts within that DWT to bring into your drawing. In our case, we're gonna choose the metric side boxes option here, and it's gonna ask me which paper size I would like. You can hold control to choose multiple sizes, and click them to select them, or you can simply just click without any buttons pressed to choose an individual. We're gonna grab the 11 by 17 landscape size here, and it's going to automatically bring it into your drawing. Now with my templates, you've already got a viewport in here, so zooming to the extents has now set up our drawing. You can see it's as quick as that, about a half a dozen clicks, and you have a layout set up down here. You can call this site plan or first floor, whatever you'd like, you've got a viewport and you've got a title block all set up. So that was method one for creating a new layout or copying a layout from say a template. Now we're gonna take a look at the second method, uh, which is pretty straightforward and most of you are probably gonna know, but if not, this is a lifesaver. If you're setting up a drawing with multiple layout tabs, after you've created one, set up the scale and the title block the way you like it, it is super easy to simply copy that layout tab and create a duplicate. To do that, you simply right click on the layout you'd like to copy, choose the move or copy option, make sure you check create a copy down at the bottom, and then you can choose a place to put it. I typically will place it to the end, but clicking is going to put it next to the one you choose. In our case, we're gonna move this new one to the end, and you can see we have a copy which is an exact copy of the previous one. So now you can simply move this and say zoom in on your dining room and you've got a viewport, a layout, and a template over here, all set up to match the previous drawing, but say at a different scale or location. All right, so for the third tip or method, what would you do if you want to say bring in a layout template and viewport from another drawing you've already created, you wanna add that to your current drawing. So for our example, we're gonna flip over to the example drawing here, and we're gonna to go to this eight and a half by 14 layout that's set up. You can see it's got three viewports nicely set up at specific locations and scales, and we simply wanna bring all of this, including the viewports and the title block and this layout tab into our current drawing. Now the easiest way to do that is through AD Center, or design center. So we're gonna type in AD center and it's going to show us a window with the open drawings available. 
you can choose the open drawings tab up here if that isn't open by default. And what's going to happen here is you can find whatever you'd like to import into your current drawing, which is the floor plan drawing in another open drawing and simply right click on it to bring it in. So we're going to choose the layout tab over here and you can see our eight and a half by 14 landscape layout. We're going to right click and choose add a layout. You can see it was automatically and instantly brought in down here as the eight and a half by 14 landscape tab. Choosing it is going to show us our viewports already set up showing our floor plan along with the layout and title block from the other drawing. So between these three methods, you can quickly and easily set up your layouts for large production drawings in a matter of minutes. In the case of the copy or duplicate, once you've got one layout set up the way you'd like it, whether that's bringing one in from a template like we did initially, or bringing a drawing layout in from an existing drawing, you can then set it up, modify it, and then duplicate it multiple times, creating 10, 20, 30 sheets within a few minutes. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys like this tip or any of the tips on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and check out my courses, the AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows in a hurry course or my AutoCAD productivity webinar, both available at the links up above and down below. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.